Hi, Fofamid here, and today we're going to be talking about Blender and some quick and easy tips on how to get shape keys or blend shapes in your avatar. Now, if you've never used Blender before, I recommend checking out this video where I give some introduction tips on how to actually get started with Blender. After watching today's video, you should be equipped with some skills on how to be able to better manipulate and create more facial expressions and cool shape keys for your avatar. This video is brought to you by my own merch store. Uh, I do have some things in my merch store. I'm adding things every so often. These are designs that I have made either myself or I have had commissioned for me. Please check it out. And there's going to be some cool designs that you might be seeing like right here. So before we get started, the first thing I'd like to do is I actually like to hide the armature since we're working mainly with the mesh. I find that when you have the armature on, it kind of gets in the way. So we're going to hide the armature by clicking the eye icon. Then we're going to select the part of the mesh that we want to manipulate. In the scene collection, you're going to click on the body mesh. Then you are going to go to the shape key tab. And then you're going to go down to where it says shape keys. And then you're going to plot hit the plus sign. And that's going to allow you to make a new shape key. So now we're going to select that shape key and then go into edit mode. And then here in edit mode, we want to make sure that we set that new shape keys value to one. So from zero all the way up to one. And then now um, on the mesh that we're going to be editing, we can uh, select and edit whatever we want to do. So in this case, I'm going to be making the nose bigger. So now when we go back into object mode, we can see that shape key in action. When we drag it from zero to one, we can see that the nose is getting bigger. Now we're going to make a new shape key called smile to name your shape key. All you have to do is just double click it and then it'll allow you to type in the new name. So here I'm not going to do a really good job of it, but basically um, this is how you can get expressions onto your avatar or if you wanted to do any like um, blend shapes or shape keys that would allow you to have lip sync. You can just use the same methods as before to move the mesh to create what you want to create. So in this case, we're creating like a really a crude and kind of terrible looking smile. And then here we're going to make sure that we set the value all the way up to one. So now when we go back in the object mode, we'll be able to see that it, it changes the, the, uh, the base mesh to have that smile shape key that we want. What if we wanted a combination of both of these things? All you have to do, if you want to make a new shape key, that's a combination of other shape keys. All you have to do is in object mode, set the shape key values to what you want. In this case, we're going to be setting big nose to about 69. And then we're going to set smile to one. And then we're going to go to that little arrow down. You have a new option called shape key from mix. If you want to preview how this would look, all you have to do is set the original shape keys. So in this case, big nose and smile back down to zero. And now with that new shape key that we made, when you move that up and down, you'll see that it's going to be a combination of those two shape keys into a new shape key. Now you can even stack this together. So for example, if we want the smile to be even bigger, or if you want another shape keys effect to apply like doubly. So either for a brand new shape key or to get your end results, you can just repeat the process and do the same thing. Let's say if you already have an existing shape key and you want to be able to keep just one aspect of it. Let's say, for example, we wanted like a side smile like like that instead of like a full smile like this. All you have to do is then in edit mode, select all of the vertices. So those little dots um, that you want to be affected by the new shape key that you want to make. So here we're selecting only one side of the mouth and that's the only side of the mouth that we want to have animated or moved with this shape key. And then now in vertex groups, we're going to go to the plus sign and we're going to create a new vertex group. So I'm going to call this one half mouth and then we're going to click assign. So you can double check to see if it's actually assigned the new vertices, that new group by you can go to deselect and select and then you should select only what you wanted. And now what we want to do is we want to use this selection to pull the one side smile from our one of our new shape keys that we made. So in that shape key, you go into where the option where it says vertex group. And then there you are going to look for and select that new selection that you made. And then now you'll be able to see it immediately applied when you have the value all the way up to one that is only affecting that part of the shape key that you have selected in that vertex group. 
and then we can see it now going back the full thing. And then if you go back and select that vertex group again, it's only going to be applying to that one selection that we had. Now, if you want this to be a new shape key, once again, you just go to new shape key from mix. And then now you're going to have a new permanent shape key that's only uh, with that one desired result of that vertex group selection and that shape key being selected. Now, let's say you have a bunch of shape keys and you've used it to change your avatar. But if you want this to be your default state of your avatar, then all you have to do is select the shape key and change its value to the desired result. And then in that arrow down drop down menu, you go to apply selected shape key to basis state. That means now that the default state for that avatar is now with that shape key that you applied to it there. Now, if you ever wanted to revert it back to its original state, it what it does is that it actually creates a new shape key called the shape key name dash reverted. So when you enable that, it'll go back to its old state, what it was before you applied that shape key to the basis state. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions or concerns, I do stream four times a week and you can check me out on my Twitch page. Uh, link will be in the description down below. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. See you there. Bye.